I haven't actually filmed a video in so long. This is crazy. It's good. It's crazy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I guess this is the first fresh video I've filmed in a while. I don't know where to start. Where have I been? I haven't uploaded videos for about a week. I'm trying to get back onto my schedule of my routine of uploading. It's just been really difficult for me to upload videos lately and it's more of a mental thing. But yeah, today I'm filming and this is like a fresh video guys. Like I'm filming this on Sunday. Saturday? No, it's Sunday. My bad. And I'm gonna upload it tomorrow, hopefully. If you guys want to stay up to date with what I'm actually getting up to on the daily or like, you know, if a video is gonna go up or if there's a delay, whatever, you guys can follow me on Snapchat. I'll just put it down here somewhere or it's always linked at the end of the video. All my social media is just Zahira Mani. I made a new Snapchat. If anyone of you guys were following my old one, you know that I made a new one. So everything's consistent now. Anyway, so I'm just gonna get into the video. I haven't done the favorites video in a while, so it'll be good to do one now. If you guys wanna know what I've been loving the past um, few months, I guess, then keep watching. Okay, firstly, let's talk about makeup because makeup is like something that everyone loves on this channel. I decided to wear my favorites today because I thought it might be helpful. So starting off with the lip color I'm wearing, I am wearing Posey K by Kylie Cosmetics. When I first got this, if you guys watched my Kylie Cosmetics swatch video, my very first one, you guys would know that I actually did not like it, to be honest. Like I wasn't like, oh my god, it's amazing. I was just like, yeah, have a pink. But honestly, it is growing on me and I just love it. It's such a beautiful color. I think I'm turning into a pink girl, man. I'm turning into a pink girl. Like, there's a lot of pink things in this video. There's my nails. This was an accident. I have another favorite that I'm going to talk about soon. Um, so yeah, I love this. It's what I'm wearing today. And I'll do a quick swatch on my hand if you guys want to see. I already have other makeup on my hand, so, you know. That's just what it looks like. I'm not really a fan of the new colors that she's coming out with, but all of the older ones, especially with this green, like this khaki green, I really like it. Moving along and sticking with the theme of what I was just talking about. I'm a big fan of this color, this like khaki green on my eyelids, the top that I got. I have created an eye look really similar to this. It's my How Much Does YouTube Pay Me video. I wore it in that video and then I've got a makeup look. I probably call it something like mossy green khaki, probably mossy green eyeshadow look. Pretty much the same thing. I've just added a bit more brown. I use this as a base, which is the Maybelline color tattoo in mossy green, probably where I got my YouTube name from. On top of it, I used my Too Faced Chocolate Bar color, which is also another favorite. It's just so good, you guys. It's so versatile. There's so many shades in here that I would wear, but honestly, in particular, that color there, that's the um, green that I used on my eyelid. On top of this one, it just looks so pretty. Let me just come up close a little bit. It looks kind of glittery as well. It's not like chunky glitter, you know? And I didn't even notice what it was doing till I saw myself in the mirror and I was like, dang, that's pretty. So yeah, this laid on top of this, really pretty. Just since we're here, I love a lot of these shades. I love that white matte shade. I love that in the crease. It's a really versatile color. So that's a favorite. Apparently they're coming out with new ones like chocolate chip white chocolate chip and chocolate chip, whatever they're called. Um, so can't wait to see those. I love dry shampoo and if you have long hair, if you go to the gym, if you just have oily hair, you love dry shampoo too, most likely. Um, I used to love the Batiste one, I still do, but I recently, not recent, probably picked this up a few months ago, um, the Osis Refresh Dust by Schwarzkopf. That's what it looks like. Um, mine is almost empty. I have another one, I have a backup obviously. But this, I feel like this kind of had a spaz when I was using it um, last week and it just kind of went all over me so I'm not really sure what happened there. Maybe it's because it's almost empty. But I really like the scent of this and I like the way that it works. I feel like it works just as well as the Batiste but I prefer the scent of these ones better. Like it just smells clean and fresh and your hair smells nice and yeah. I really like it. I don't even remember how much it was. I think it was two for 30, which I feel like is reasonable because that's how much I got Batiste for. I'm like looking over there because I have my backup boxes over there because I recently tidied everything up. And I think it's pretty much done. So I'm gonna start using the next one. But I have a lot of dry shampoo. I've been trying to relax a bit more, like trying to not let my mind take over, trying to relax, trying to Wrist. What I found that has been really putting me in a good mood is lighting candles and if you guys have been following me for a while you know how much I love Mo and Mel candles. Bit of background of Mo and Mel. The company is owned by one of my best friends, her name is Mona and that's the Mo. And then her sister who is Melody which is Mo and Mel. They're beautiful soy candles and what 
Like one of my favorite um, things about their candles over others is the fact that it's soy wax and it's like paraffin, paraffin free. I feel like it's just better for you. I live in New Zealand. We don't have Bath and Body Works. Is it Bath and Body Works? I think that's what it's called. We don't have that here in New Zealand. I found a way to import it in like years ago. I bought a lot and the majority of the scents that I picked ended up giving me a headache and I couldn't light them. Um, the only one that was okay for me was the one that smells like Ab Abercrombie and Fitch, like that store. I forgot what it was called. Um, is it Mahogany and Teakwood? I think it was that one. Yeah, that one is the only one that I could like, but the rest gave me a headache. And so I'm not sure why that was, but so since then I was kind of put off candles and I was like, oh man, that's a shame because they smelled really nice. I just couldn't, they just gave me a headache. Anyway, so long story short, Lone Mel has made me fall in love with candles again. And this is the travel, the travel tin. So as you can tell, I'm kind of making my way through that. But the cool thing is, is that I finished up one of my um, Lotus and Bamboo ones. And I've pretty much um, took out the residue, the wax residue from it. And now I use it as like a container for my um, bobby pins. So that's really handy because it looks nice on like your dresser. So yeah, these are big, big favorites. And yeah, sorry if this is really bright, but that is just what it looks like. Whoa, almost fell forward. Hopefully that kind of shows you guys what it looks like. But I'll show you guys this one close up because that one you can see. So yeah, it's super cute and I love the packaging. Yeah, the awesome thing is, is that Mo and Mel now ship internationally um, and I also I was also given a discount code so you guys can get 20% off if you use my discount code which is... My discount code is Z20, Z-E-D-20 and you get 20% off which is awesome. I'll put the word down here below somewhere at some point um, and it's valid till the end of November so you can get yourself something, you can get a Christmas present for someone like they are beautiful products. Also, I just because I was given a discount code doesn't mean I'm making any profit from it. I'm not, honestly. It's just a brand that's close to my heart. So yeah, definitely check them out and make use of that 20% off because why not save some money? So yeah, I'll put all the links down in the description box of the website, the social media. Yeah, check out the Instagram account. Every time I look at the Instagram account, I'm just like goals, just straight goals with that theme. Anyway, so yeah. Those are a favorite and they smell good. My favorites are wild honeysuckle and coconut and vanilla. So I have always wanted like one of those 2.2 liter or 2 liter bottle like water bottles that you always see like all those gym junkies having and I really wanted one but I didn't want like a generic one that everyone else had because you can get some in New Zealand that are branded with like logos for like supplement companies and a lot of people have them and so I don't want my bottle to be mixed up with someone else's bottle so I went online, I picked up this beautiful pink one. This is the Frosted Blush. Look at look, my nails match, you guys. This is from the Big Bottle Co. And I think it's just called Big Bottle. This is the Frosted Blush color. I picked this up because it's just so cute. And like every time I see this, I'm like, yep, that's mine. You know what I mean? It's not as big as you think it is. Like I saw this, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's going to be massive. But when I'm holding it, it's really not that big. I love that it's got like a little handle thing on it. So I just pick it up like this sometimes. It just has like a lip like this. Honestly, this is like the best thing ever because I was constantly going through like those one liter bottles and I have to keep replacing it. This is BPA free. This is like one of the best purchases of this year for me. So love this. Um, I bought a hat for the gym. I, kn I always wanted to get a hat. I didn't think I had the right head for a hat. Isn't that silly? But I bought one and now I like this because it makes me feel like real anti when you don't want to talk to you know, and you just want to go in the gym and you just want to lift, you know? So. It's by Von Zipper, and yeah, I love it, it's so cute. Cause like, I just have my hair to the front and I'm just like, yeah, jokes, I don't. But yeah, I really like it. Um, I picked this up from Amazon in Auckland and I'm now part of the hat crew. You know, the kids at the gym who wear hats? I'm one of them now. But yeah, you get kind of sweaty when you're lifting this. So sometimes I don't always wear it, I just wear it sometimes. You think I could pull up wearing this? Probably not. I don't think I'm cool enough. I think it kind of holds on to my head to probably have to loosen this a little bit. But yeah, I love this hat. Um, but it's just real simple and I love the detail that it's just like, is embroidered? Yeah. This is Von Zipper. I don't own anything by Von Zipper, but you know. Next up would be, I kind of stopped taking my supplements for a bit. I took a bit of a break. 
And now I'm kind of going back to it, but I ended up not taking my magnesium for a little bit. And honestly, after I trained calves, I noticed it. Like my legs were just cramping. My calves were in so much pain, like magnesium. This one, you can take any one, but I just pick up the one that's cheapest. This one has been doing really well for me. It's the Magnesium Healthery's Magnesium 400 mg high strength one a day. Um, so obviously I take one a day and it really helps me when I'm training the legs especially. Um, so if you're training hard, if you're training like hitting legs a few times a week, um, it helps my muscles recover fast and yeah, I, I always notice it when I don't take it. So love these. I'll put the description on the screen. Sorry if it's quite bright because you either get to see me or the products and I'm sure people want to see me. <laughs> Next, I guess, would be this. I bought, I, I hit up Bunnings the other day. Bunnings is like a hardware store in New Zealand. Bunnings is like came out to me, man. Like there's so much good stuff in Bunnings. I got isopropyl alcohol and this stuff is legit. I literally spray this on everything and I sanitize everything. I sanitize my brushes, my makeup, my desk. I just spray this on anything and I'm just like constantly wiping like keyboards, my phone, it is so good. It's like the best thing if you're a germaphobe. I'm not a germaphobe, but I kind of feel like this is an amazing thing and I love it. Seriously, like love it. Um, it's pretty awesome. Let's just end it on something ridiculous, okay? So I've been drinking energy drinks lately. Wouldn't recommend it. I'm not trying to say you should drink it. I'm not saying they're good. It's just a phase I'm going through I'm trying to stop. Um, so I just don't like putting my mouth in like cans because I feel like it will probably cut my lips and I just don't like slurping out of them. Um, so I hit up Countdown <laughs> and I picked up a 200 pack of plastic straws. And these are the straws that like, these are legit man. These are like McDonald's straws. Now I kind of wonder why didn't I just go to McDonald's and get their straws. But like these are packaged in like little paper things. And I just popped them everywhere. Probably didn't need 200 of them, but you know, that's gonna last me all of next year. Some people drink coffee out of straws so it doesn't stain their teeth. I haven't started doing that because I don't understand how it works. If it's hot coffee, will it not start to melt or I don't know. So yeah, that concludes my last favorite and I'm set for a while. So if anyone needs some straws, I have 200 of them. <laughs> so okay, that's about it. I think those are all my favorites. Um, thank you so much for supporting my channel. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for all your lovely kind words. Yeah, I'm really, really grateful. Honestly, you guys have no idea. I'm really grateful. I'm going to try to get back to my uploading schedule. Follow me on Snapchat, on Instagram, um, on Twitter. I have a Twitter account. It's not a big thing here in New Zealand. Um, I feel like it's more common in America. But follow me on all my social media if you want to. It's all just Zahira Munif. I'll put some links in the description box for you guys. And I'll put my discount code there. So that's about it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Okay, I'm only going to give myself 20 minutes to talk about stuff. Because otherwise I just end up having way too much. Okay, firstly. Okay, so what it's called. It's just from the Big Bottle Co. Company. No, the Big Bottle Co. Big Bottle Co? Big Bottle. I don't remember what it was called. Um, let me just figure it out so I'm not like, you know, shaming myself. Wait, side note. Cotton On Basics. So good if you're a female and you're lifting and clothes don't fit you. Cotton On Basics. Um, anyways, I better go edit this. It's really hot and I'm starting to sweat.